Did you know that chronic kidney disease has been estimated to affect more than 37 million Americans? If you're already suffering from kidney issues or simply want to protect your kidney health, this video is for you. What you eat can either damage or even help heal your damaged kidneys. So today, let's have a look at six such foods that can effectively help heal your kidneys. Let's start with food number one, garlic. Chronic inflammation can potentially trigger or worsen your symptoms of chronic kidney disease. Luckily, garlic has been shown to have powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, mainly due to its bioactive compound called allicin. Its anti-inflammatory effects may help reduce inflammation in your kidneys, allowing them to heal. While its antioxidant properties may prevent further oxidative damage to your kidneys. Another common cause of kidney disease is high blood pressure, and garlic can moderately lower blood pressure. A 2020 study suggests that garlic is moderately effective in lowering blood pressure, with an average reduction of 8 units in systolic blood pressure and 4 units in diastolic blood pressure. Moreover, garlic has also been shown to have natural antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. This may help prevent or manage urinary tract infections. In fact, a 2015 study found garlic extract effective in preventing UTIs, with about a 73.8% reduction in UTI risk. Consuming 1 to 2 cloves of raw garlic per day, or around 4 grams of dried garlic powder, is generally considered safe. Remember to start with a small amount and gradually increase your intake if your body tolerates it. You may also cook garlic to help reduce its potency and avoid consuming too much garlic on an empty stomach. Number 2. Flax Seeds Flax seeds contain alpha-linolenic acid, which is an omega-3 fatty acid. It has anti-inflammatory effects that can potentially reduce inflammation in damaged kidneys. Flax seeds can also help lower blood pressure, allowing for smooth blood flow, which is crucial for optimum kidney health. Some studies also suggest that flax seed might reduce proteinuria, which often indicates kidney damage. A 2012 study observed a 25% decrease in proteinuria in patients with chronic kidney disease who consumed flax seed daily for just 12 weeks. If you have never consumed flax seeds, start by adding one teaspoon to your diet and check for any adverse effects. Then gradually increase by one teaspoon if there are no side effects, and continue to increase until you reach one to two tablespoons daily. Number 3. Onion. Onions are particularly rich in quercetin and other flavonoids. These compounds have antioxidant properties that may help reduce inflammation and protect kidney cells from damage. Onions also contain small amounts of allicin, which may help lower blood pressure, a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease. One study showed a whopping 10 to 15 units reduction in blood pressure of people with CKD after taking allicin supplements. Most healthy adults can safely consume around a half medium-sized onion, which is about 110 grams in weight. Also, raw onions are stronger than cooked ones, so 100 grams of raw onion is considered safe for most healthy people. But onions do have moderate amounts of potassium, about 160 milligrams per one medium-sized onion. So avoid consuming too much of it, particularly if you have chronic kidney disease, stomach ulcers, or other health conditions. Number 4. Beetroot. Beets are particularly rich in dietary nitrates, which get converted into nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a natural vasodilator, meaning it helps relax and widen blood vessels, potentially lowering blood pressure. A 2013 study observed an average 4 units decrease in systolic blood pressure among adults within just 2.5 hours of drinking beetroot juice. One 2014 study saw a maximum systolic pressure reduction of 8 units after just 3 hours, gradually returning to baseline by 24 hours. So drinking beetroot juice daily may help keep your blood pressure consistently in a healthy range. This can indirectly benefit kidney function by reducing stress caused by blood pressure on sensitive organs like kidneys. Up to 8.4 ounces or 250 milliliters of beetroot juice or a half cup of cooked solid beetroot is considered safe for most people. Beets are also a good source of potassium, which is essential for overall health. In fact, just a glass or 250 milliliters of beetroot juice contains between 700 to 800 milligrams of potassium. So be careful if you have chronic kidney disease and have been advised to watch your potassium intake. Beets also contain oxalates, 
about 500 to 800 milligrams per glass of beet juice, which can contribute to kidney stones in susceptible individuals. You must discuss with your doctor about the safe amounts to take, especially if you already have a history of kidney stones. Number 5. Bitter Melon a 2012 study found that bitter melon extract significantly reduced urinary oxalate excretion by 34% in 60 patients over the course of four months. This translates to a significantly lower risk of developing calcium oxalate stones, which are the most common type of kidney stones. Bitter melon has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Due to these properties, bitter melon can help protect the kidneys from damage caused by certain medications or toxins. In fact, studies show that bitter melon extract reduces kidney damage induced by methotrexate, a chemotherapy drug. The generally accepted safe amount of bitter melon is around a half cup of cooked or raw flesh. If you're considering bitter melon juice, start with small amounts. Start with just a quarter cup and see how well your body tolerates it. But remember that bitter melon may interact with certain medications, like blood thinners and diabetes medications. Pregnant and breastfeeding women, too, should avoid it. Consult your doctor before consuming bitter melon on a regular basis, especially if you already have any underlying conditions. Number 6. Carrots. Carrots are rich in antioxidants like beta-carotene, which may help protect your kidney cells from damage. Carrots are also rich in fiber, which can help promote gut health. A healthy gut microbiome can efficiently break down toxins and waste products that can otherwise damage the kidneys. Some gut bacteria produce short-chain fatty acids like butyrate, which can potentially reduce inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. So if you're looking for foods to help heal your kidneys, carrots may be a pretty good option. But remember that one medium carrot contains about 195 milligrams of potassium. So be careful if you're watching your potassium intake. And do remember that foods mentioned in this video cannot be considered a sole treatment for kidney problems. So if you have any concerns about your kidney health, be sure to discuss them with your doctor. Plus, if you already have kidney disease or any other existing condition, be sure to ask your doctor before making one or more of these foods a regular part of your diet. Here are some additional tips to help maintain your kidney health. Number 1. Limit processed foods. Processed foods are often high in sodium, phosphorus, and potassium. Opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible. Always read the food labels, particularly the amounts of sodium, phosphorus, potassium, or any other nutrients that you need to stay conscious of. Number two, cook your meals at home. This will give you more control over the ingredients in your meals. Number three, limit sugary drinks. Sugary drinks, particularly sodas, energy drinks, and juices with added sugar can contribute to weight gain, high blood pressure, and insulin resistance, both of which are major risk factors for kidney disease. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.